Hey y'all. I know the lighting is weird, but I'm not professional. It's uh, Miranda here. I'm gonna make um, some spinach and ricotta ravioli with um, butter, sage sauce, um, that I'm gonna do a little roux with a little flour and um, <clears throat> and the liquid, I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine and uh, chicken stock, so I'm gonna put the raviolis in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna just talk to you people because I don't know how to edit. I can't swear, I guess. Apparently I'm not allowed to swear. So I'm gonna try really effing hard to not swear. And uh, yeah, anyway. So I added my tortellinis. Did I say ravioli? I might have said ravioli, but I meant tortellini. Anyway, so um, adding my tortellinis. Um, I don't want too many. I just want enough for maybe two servings. Although it's gonna be for myself on Valentine's Day by myself, but that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. Anyway, so I just added the tortellini. I'm gonna put them on like kind of medium low. While I do my sauce, it shouldn't take that long. I'm gonna start right here. Oh no, I know later what the fuck am I doing? <gasps> oh my god, I said a swear word, sorry. Hope I don't get banned for that. Anyway, so let's start. Gosh, I really gotta start up. Work on my like swearing, sorry. I'm gonna add some butter to my pot. Mm. Pot, she said pot. That's what she said. Okay, anyway. I hope my voice is entertaining enough because I can't edit to carry you through this long ass video that I hope will turn out good enough to be watched. Anyway, so a little bit about myself. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'll tell you. I live in California, born and raised in the Northern California Bay Area. Um, San Francisco Bay Area. So living here all my life. I am bleep it bleep years old, have two kids. That should give you some idea of my age, but anyway, I won't give you their age. I, I know I look old anyway. So I just added the butter. Now I'm gonna add my sage that I kind of did a rough, I started julienning it, but I'm like, no, I, I wanna, I'm, I'm doing a handful of fresh sage. I want it very sagey, because that's, the herb that we're working with. I might do a little lemon zest kind of at the end or something. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet. You know, with cooking, you can wing it, if you will. With baking, you really can't. So yeah, that's what's going on here. We're getting this baby up kind of bubbly. I'm not doing different angles or zooming or whatever because I'm the only, it's like a one man show, a one woman show. Can I zoom? No, I guess not. Anyway, uh, raviolis are hanging out. Let's give them a little stir, shall we? There, stirred. Cause we want to add them directly from the pasta water into our sauce when we're done here. This is getting nice and bubbly. <clears throat> the butter was cold, not room temperature, so you know. Probably dumb, but whatever. Anywho, so let's let this baby go. Let this, I think I need more wine. I had a little mm, walked in the green grass earlier. I actually did go for a walk earlier and I did walk, uh, incorporate grass with that, but you know, so yeah. It will make it that much better. Ooh, that sage is looking kind of, it looks kind of crispy, you know what I mean? And then the butter will start getting brown not too long after. We're gonna add maybe like a tablespoon or two of flour. Turn it to a medium low. Medium, turn it to medium. Now we're adding our flour because the butter's starting to get, it's breaking down the sage a little bit. It's not necessarily brown yet. I don't want a real burned flavor. Um, I want a little nutty toastiness, but not too, too much. So I'm going to add, I want the sage to kind of be the, the star of the show, if you will. I'm eyeballing about a tablespoon and a half of flour. And yeah, I'm going to kind of stir that. Blah, blah, blah. I have some <clears throat> warm chicken broth on the side. 
because I added I had more butter than um, flour it's more liquidy I don't know if you can see it from here. Can you see? I know I'm a really horrible videographer by myself, but this is what we're doing, okay? In a minute, we're going to add some white wine, little chicken broth. We're going to bring the heat up just a smidge rooney Smidge rooney And then we'll obviously salt and pepper to taste. We're going to be putting the tortellinis. They're almost done. They're floated to the top. They're probably not cooked through, but they're cooked through enough to where I want them to finish cooking in the sauce because we want them to absorb, you know what I mean? Let's start with some wine. Um, I'm gonna just go straight for the, straight from the, maybe I should start with the warm chicken broth and then put a little bit more wine in after. I think that'd be better. See, what did I say, winging it? But it will still taste good nonetheless. I thought we were going higher on heat here. I guess we are, but it's looking pretty nice. Okay, I think we got that starchy flavor cooked out of the flour. And we'll add a little broth to start, maybe like a quarter cup. Okay. I should be having a whisk here. So if you're lucky, freaking A. Okay, I'm trying not to swear. I'm gonna start going, going in with the wine, whisking it in. We don't want lumps. Slowly. Now we're gonna get the simultaneously. Get the freaking temperature down. Get some more wine going on. I think we're good with the wine. Now we're gonna do a chicken broth for the rest of the liquid. Okay, fine, heat up just a smidge, bring that up. And thicken, and then we're gonna add the twats. The twats in right after, okay? And then, because the bouillon, I added more, I when I did, I did a bouillon cube. I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't have better than bouillon right now. Anyway, so I used um, a Nor bouillon cube and I made it pretty concentrated. That's pretty salty. It will have a kind of a chickeny flavor to it, which you won't be able to taste really with the sage and the butter, but it will have that savory flavor we like in a sauce. Might add a little parm to cheese it out a smidge it's a little liquidy which we want because we want our pasta to absorb the rest of the sauce so now we're gonna get this baby Hello. and then let's give it a little this is what we started with let's give it a little taste shall we it's salty enough Ooh, that wine actually it's fucking pretty oh my god sorry but i i can't help swearing it's, but it is really good. It's pretty perfect flavor-wise and salt-wise. This is pretty not too hot, kind of. Yes, it is. Oh my god, I'm burning. Perfect nougat. Okay. So tortellinis are going straight in here with a little bit of the water. We all want it to marry well together. I think this is too much sauce for the tortellini, so I'm gonna reserve some of it somewhere. Oh my god. it for something else. We don't want it overly, overly sauced. But that sh stuff is bomb. We can always add, but you know, can't take away. Okay. And then the rest of the pasta. I think this video is really long. I'm so sorry, but it's COVID. I need someone to talk to besides my kids who are with their dad right now. And, um, any, like my friends, I don't want to talk to anybody, so I want to talk to myself and hopefully people who may watch this in the future. God. Sounds freaking... Oh, I want to swear! I need some more wine. Sounds freaking pathetic. All right. We're going to let that go on a very, 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 very low flame. Like the lowest of the low. Stir that all together. Let the pasta absorb the rest of the sauce. Um, I think for a, a smidge more saltiness, although the, um, the bouillon was salty enough, we are going to go in with some Parmesan and it's really, really, uh, good quality, really, really delicious natural Parmesan. Yes. From a glass thing, 
Yes, it's natural. Yes, it's good. It's not wood shavings, but it's good. We're going to cheese it up a little bit. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, now let that all kind of chill together. And honestly, that's all I'm going to show you because this video is really long and I hope you enjoyed it.